Hey, welcome back. If you're having a snack, maybe just set it down for just a moment. Officials with the city of Tacoma say flushable wipes cause expensive backups in the city's pipes to the tune of $100,000 a year. We've been talking about this story all week, and yes, we did say flushable. Just take a look at the mess they uncovered below the city. Oh. Yummy. According to an environmental services manager for the city, the wipes are not biodegradable, meaning they haven't broken down by the time they reach the plants. And this is not the only city with this challenge. In fact, last fall, the Charleston water system in South Carolina tweeted that baby wipes were causing such a major clog they had to send divers through raw sewage to unblock the pipes. And according to MSN, wet wipes sold as flushable were banned in the UK after authorities said they were responsible for 93% of sewer blockages wow. there. I know, it's a lot. So what can we do? An article in New York Magazine pulled some suggestions from various business owners and mom bloggers, and these were pretty interesting. One, you can use reusable cotton washcloths instead. Now, I know that's a bit of a tough sell, but they suggest keeping a spray bottle of water nearby so you can constantly moisten them. I actually did switch to these in the kitchen, and they work well. I'm not sure I would use them instead of what baby oh, okay. wipes are for. In the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> in the kitchen, huh. on the counters. Bold move. Number two, look for wipes made of bamboo. So these will biodegrade much quicker than the typical wood-based wipes. So they look and feel the same. Or perhaps you can try wipes made from organic cotton. They suggested a company similar to NatraCare. They're biodegradable and compostable. But as we were looking into this, we discovered that wipes aren't the only things that we're all flushing that shouldn't be. It's not going to get too gross, I promise. The city of Tacoma also has these guidelines on its website for what not to flush. Diapers, facial tissues, mm. napkins and paper towels, hair, vitamins or medicine, dental floss, and it's not just flushing we're worried about. Several departments all across the Puget Sound area also urge you to avoid putting these down the drain, like in the kitchen. Grease and fatty foods. So grease can stick to the insides of your pipes. Do you like my <laughs> inside of your pipes and build up over time, but eventually causing a blockage. So the way to do it is you can like pour it into a can, let it cool down and dispose of it in the trash. We have a whole article on this for you. Just text the keyword pipes. The bathroom reader? Yes, the bathroom reader. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know, it's just, be careful with what you fly. I gotta say, not only is this important information, but it's valuable to me, especially this time of the year, because it's helping my resolution, which is to, oh. you know, lower the intake of food, and I'm no longer hungry ever again. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Earth. Story. So yes. thank you.